show that it's not about technology. If you watch this video, you can see that there are, like in this space that we create, um, there are some iPads and iPhones and people have their own devices, but you can see how it's uh, constantly changing, is it? It's not. Yeah, it's slowly coming up. Just very different from uh, ordinary.
future, but it's going well. If it starts getting grey, then you know that people are falling in apathy. And this is self-report, so we are from time to time asking our students to send their um, measuring their We have developed mathematical models for this. We just managed to publish one article. This is based on, on different kinds of measurements. So, if you are interested, we have this contextual activity sampling system. It works best in Android. We are now developing it to it would work by iPhone and iPad. Windows 8 has been a bit difficult, but we are developing HTML version, so that it's easy to administer through the internet. So, this is just for those who are interested in, in technologies. But basically, you can use mobile devices, tablets, and laptops. You can repeatedly collect information about participants' uh, motivational states. And we also look at people's academic emotions, whether they are interested or enthusiastic, or whether they are depressed and bored. So we can download this in Excel and SPSS um, and visualize. For instance, and it's very easy, I just ask two questions. If you think about yourself right now, how challenging do you feel this lecture or this situation? And how competent do you feel? And then with this formula we can put you in these different uh, spaces. And, and this, if, if this would turn blue, it would indicate that it's too relaxed and the challenge isn't high enough. Basically, my message is that it's good to have challenges and, and it's much likely that our students report positive emotions when they're there rather than when they are um, not challenged at all. Okay, I can, I'm going to end. The next session is starting. Uh, but maybe if I combine what I've been trying to say about future classrooms here, is that we need to combine this pedagogical peer-to-peer, face-to-face, virtual and mobile. And what I've been trying to say is to, to demonstrate how they merge. Uh, so that we don't have a computer classroom there, an ordinary classroom there.